All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're just gonna go through some of the stupidity that we see on Twitter. I know that it's kind of like the premise, I guess, of 80% of my content to begin with, man. But today we're doing like the Twitter dipshit hall of fame, okay? It's incredible, the, the stupid takes that we have today. It recently, man, my timeline has just been full of just some insanity, man. Just some, some tweets that I look at them and they just make my brain rot a little bit. I don't even understand like what makes you have these takes. Like these are takes that are, they're, they're so hot, dude. They're, they're like center of the sun hot. It's like universal heat death hot. Like it's not even microwave hot. You know what I'm saying? It's not hot pocket outside, but not in the middle hot. This shit is just so far out of left field. We're not even in the stadium anymore. Okay. So that's kind of a problem on Twitter, right? Uh, people can say pretty much anything on there. And that's kind of an issue with social media. You could just say literally anything. Okay. And the problem with Twitter, especially if you have a check mark next to your name, it's almost like a Skyrim buff, right? Like you're playing like an, like you're playing an MMORPG or something like World of Warcraft. You get like a plus 10 mental illness buff, a minus five intelligence. It's incredible how these people behave, man. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Cause in all reality, we have a lot to go through with this one. So this video is kind of in like three different acts, okay? First, we have dinner with Jay-Z Twitter, okay? Now, this is like a, a subcategory of Twitter accounts. You know, they, they constantly talk about their side hustle, man. You know, we're making so much money off our side hustles, bro. And they all do the same thing. What they do is they sell some sort of course that most likely doesn't actually contain any real helpful information. It's probably just the same regurgitated stuff that we've been seeing online for 20 years. Uh, oh, bro, uh, if you go on eBay and flip sports cards, you can make 700 bucks a month. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not discounting the fact that people make money, you know, working and doing side hustles online. But for the vast majority of people, doing these side hustles not only are impractical, but they're too time consuming. I mean, when you're working a nine to five job every day, you're barely able to pay your rent, barely able to keep the lights on in your house, and you have maybe 150 extra spending dollars a month. You don't really have room for flexibility to just be, you know, trapping sports cards, I guess, on eBay or starting an e-commerce website. Not, not really something most people can do. People don't have the time and money for this, but these fake Twitter gurus, they do it for whatever reason, and you know, it succeeds for a couple months and they think all of a sudden they're Jeff Bezos or Steve Jobs or Elon Musk. And they just say blatantly moronic shit. Like, take a look at this. I'll explain since most can't comprehend. Dinner with Jay-Z is the better option over $500,000 because of the knowledge and expertise that he has. He'll give you the blueprint on being wealthy and successful. His knowledge will be worth more long-term than the short-term 500,000. Okay, first and foremost, they do this thing where they always have to be so fucking condescending. Like, if these Twitter gurus aren't talking down to you at the same time that they're trying to, you know, sun you a little bit and give you some info or whatever, it's almost like they don't feel like they've got a big enough dick. Like, they feel like they've got two inches if they're not being, like, a douchebag on Twitter. But, like, if they can, you know, they hit you with that statement at the beginning that I'll explain since you dumb fucks can't comprehend, they they feel like they're now a confident six and a half inches, right? Like they, they got up there, bro. So it, it, the insecurity shows through immediately for me, but no, dinner with Jay-Z is not a better option than $500,000. He is not going to give you the blueprint on being wealthy and successful. He's going to eat his fucking, you know, chicken strips, fries, and his champagne. He's going to get back on his private jet and he's going back across the country to do whatever Jay-Z is doing today, AKA being one of the most powerful people on the planet, being a fucking billionaire. He is not giving you the blueprint to success over dinner at fucking Applebee's, okay, man? I don't know what kind of delusion that you people live in thinking that Jay-Z is gonna break the game down to you if you meet him, but he would literally laugh in your fucking face if he saw you. Like, you're nothing to him. You are a fucking, you're a peasant. You're a peon to this man. You know what I'm saying? So just to do some quick math for you right here, okay? Uh, if you were handed $500,000 today and you got an interest rate at about 8%, you know, that, that's a stock market return just off the top of my head. So you got that annually, and for the variance range, we do 2% above or below. So you make, you know, 10% above, you know, six. you make 10% on the high side, 6% interest on the low side, right? In 10 years off that 500000 you now have $1,079,462.50. 
on the high end of it, you can almost have $1.3 million, and on the low end, you still have almost 900 k How many businesses, how many side hustles do you think for most people are going to generate them over, you know, $500,000 in revenue? How, how, many, how many times do you think that's going to happen? So you can take 500 k invest it in the stock market, maybe have $1.3 million, or at bare minimum, you know, $900,000 in 10 years. Or, yeah, you can have a filet mignon with fucking Jay-Z. He can tell you, yeah, I own title, and, and walk away. Like, let me tell you how a dinner with Jay-Z is going to go. You're going to be like, hey, Jay-Z, how did you get rich? He's going to look you in the face and be like, yeah, you know, I sold packs and I bought businesses. <laughs> and then he's walking the fuck away, bro. Like, this is Jay-Z we're talking about. I, I don't know where the delusion comes in, but it probably came in uh, a little bit before this other tweet that you put out, too. Would you rather get paid a million dollars right now or $50 every month for the rest of your life? I'll take option B. That's what passive income is. Find a way to make passive income. It'll change your life. So these people, once again, what they'll do, they'll take buzzwords that they find online and just throw them randomly, okay? Yeah, $50 every month for the rest of your life over a million right now? You're a fucking idiot. And no, it doesn't even mathematically come out correct, okay? Let, let's do some quick math again. Let's do the 10-year stretch again. You do the same math we just did with that $500,000, but with a million dollars, you end up in 10 years with $2.15 million on average. So you can get a million right now and in 10 years turn that into 2.1 million. And that's if you just invested at like the baseline, right? And get like the average return rate out on the stock market. And if you do that same month with the initial investment of $0, but with $50 monthly, in 10 years you'll have $8,691. Good job, dude. The math really adds up there. These are the type of people who are on Twitter, man. They just literally say anything they can to just try and fucking sell these courses. And it's insane. But of course, this isn't the only uh, person I want to make fun of today. China is limiting online gaming for kids to three hours a week, and they can only play between 8 and 9 p.m. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they will enforce this by requiring gamers to use real name registration and mandatory face scans and somehow were gaslit and told this is a normal country. Somewhat of an understandable tweet, right? You know, that is not a normal thing to do. You should not have to scan your fucking face like a BO2 campaign biometric scan to play some Rocket League. After Gamergate, I think this is a good idea and should be instituted everywhere. Video games have been a strong cultural force for the alt-right and resurgent fascists. Yep, nothing like cl uh, crying about fascism while, you know, praising the fascist country for being fucking overbearing and, you know, invading civil liberties. And yeah, invading civil liberties is actually the case. And, uh, you know, it's not really deep about the whole three hours a week video game thing. The fact that, you know, you have to use your real name registration and scan your fucking face to log into a video game. That is a violation of your human rights. That is a violation of your privacy. But it's okay because Gamergate happened and it should be, a, it should happen everywhere. I am so fucking tired of hearing about Gamergate. I don't know if I'm the only person. First and foremost, Gamergate happened like seven years ago. Like, online fucking gaming journalists and people like this, they act like Gamergate was 9-11, right? Like, they act like it was fucking Pearl Harbor or Genghis Khan's Wrath or the Crusades. It was Gamergate. Like, yeah, you know, some of the shit that happened was fucked up. But at the end of the day, dude, it's been almost a decade. Can you please shut the fuck up about it? And can you not use it as an excuse to, you know, praise a fascist government? Like, I don't think people think before they tweet, man. I think people just fucking press tweet and just hope that it goes okay. Video games have been a strong cultural force for the alt-right. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Video games are one of the biggest entertainment platforms Ever. Like, video games at this point are larger than movies, they're bigger than the music industry, the book industry, like, everyone plays video games, dude. To some degree, it's gotten to the point where your mom playing Candy Crush on her fucking nook or whatever, right, at this point is considered gaming. I think that dumbasses on Twitter, like demonstratable dipshits like this, should have their Twitter accounts locked to 15 minutes per week. Because saying just ridiculous shit online has become a crutch for a lot of these people. And this one didn't really take place on Twitter, but I saw it on Twitter, and that's why I'm gonna kind of just lump it in with this. This actually was part of a TikTok, but men crying about how patriarchy they created doesn't allow them to be emotional or vulnerable. Literally what? Okay, so apparently the 19-year-old man who is depressed is at fault because, you know, societal norms that were acceptable for thousands of years have been recently deemed unacceptable. And because of that, you know, his emotions don't matter. Him being vulnerable isn't acceptable, right? You know, he's a fucking moron for that, right? 
Yo, bro, you crying because you're depressed? You thinking about fucking killing yourself, loser? Did your mom just die? You're a pussy. Like, people like this complain like, oh, men, you know, they don't show their feelings enough, you know, they don't, they're not vulnerable enough, they don't, they don't actually, you know, show emotional intelligence enough, but then when men do it, they say stupid shit like this. I fail to understand how, like, me, right, I, I'm, I was born this century, okay, I was born in the 21st century, how is it my fault that, you know, in the 14th century, they made it okay to be fucking mean to women, okay, and it was that way until, you know, 2014, I don't understand how that's my fault and how that means I can't be emotional. And, and what the fuck are you talking about, right? Men that I know, like, have no problem showing their emotions. Like, yeah, men are human beings too. I don't know if you realize that, but we're not fucking cyborgs, okay? Yeah, we have emotions. We have hearts. Like, me and my friends, bro, when we're having a bad day or we got some shit on our mind, bro, we're in Discord talking about it, you know what I'm saying? Or we're in person hanging out talking about it. Men do have feelings. Like, my friends have cried their fucking eyes out in front of me before over, you know, girls breaking their hearts or whatever, right? Like over whatever's going on, man, the drama that they've got going on in their life. Like the, I've had that happen, bro. And you know, as much as people like to make it out, like men are like, Oh, you're a pussy, bro. You cry. Like that's not the case. So I don't even understand why shit like this even gets put online in the first place. Cause it's not even fucking true. I don't know, man. I, I just really wanted to just shit on people being stupid on Twitter today. So with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, being mean to stupid people on Twitter, I guess. And signing out.